Hello, Grade 8 Learners! A good morning to all of you! Welcome to our FB Live Streaming in Science 8. Last meeting, we learned digestive system and its process discussed by Sir JC and end up knowing that digestive system is made up of gastrointestinal tract or GI tract, liver, pancreas, gallbladder, and series of hollow organs joined in a long, twisting tube from the mouth to the anus. Today, you can learn even more as we talk about cell cycle under Lesson 2, Cellular Reproduction. Here are the following objectives for today's lesson. First, we should be able to define cell and cell cycle. And lastly, we should be able to compare mitosis and meiosis and their role in the cell division cycle. Now, let us begin in this question. Have you ever wondered why wounds are naturally healed even without medication? The answer for this healing is because of growth rebuilding and repairing of blood cells, including oxygen-rich red blood cells, which help build new tissue. And as you have heard, it mentioned about cell. So what do we mean by cell? Do you have any idea? Correct! Cell is the basic functional unit of life because our body is composed of trillions of cells which provide structure for the body. Take in nutrients from food, convert those nutrients into energy, and carry out specialized functions. Cells also contain the body's hereditary material and make copies of themselves. Another question have you ever watched a caterpillar turn into a butterfly? If so, you are probably familiar with the idea of a life cycle. Butterflies go through some fairly spectacular life cycle transitions turning from something that looks like a worm into a pupa and finally, into a glorious creature that floats on the breeze. Other organisms, from humans to plants to bacteria, also have a life cycle, a series of developmental steps that an individual goes through from the time it is born until the time it reproduces. The cell cycle can be thought of as the life cycle of a cell. But, what do we mean by cell cycle? Cell cycle is the series of events that cells go through as they grow and divide. Remember these terms about cell cycle. Series, cells, grow, and divide. The chromosomes of a cell change form as the cell transitions from one stage to another in a typical cell cycle. Here is the example picture of a chromosome. Chromosome is any or rod shape or thread-like DNA containing structures of cellular organisms that are located in the nucleus of eukaryotes are usually ring-shaped in prokaryotes such as bacteria and contain all or most of the genes of the organism. Here, chromosome have the basic parts or has the basic parts such as sister chromatids and centromere. To further discuss cell cycle, I prepared a flow chart which is easy for you to learn and visualize how cell cycle happens. Cell cycle is divided into two stages. We have the interface and we have the division process. Under interface, our first gap period or G1, synthesis phase or S, 
and second period for G2. While on division process, it is subdivided into mitosis and meiosis. These two stages has its own processes. Let us discuss now the two stages under cell cycle. First is interface. It is where the chromosomes are long and extended and are also referred to as chromatin. While cell division phase, it is where the chromosomes become condensed or thickened. As you can see in the chart of our cell cycle, it is the stages of interface and cell division process. Here, you can notice during first gap period, cell growth and goes into synthesis phase, which DNA replication occurs, and it goes to second period for the preparation for mitosis. The interface refers to the period that follows one cell division and precedes another. Cell spends most of its life in this phase. Do not forget that during this stage, the cell does not divide, it merely grows. Here are the events of the cell cycle. During first gap period or G1, the cell increases in size, which is cell growth, synthesizes new proteins and organelles, cell develops. During the S phase, which undergoes DNA replication, chromosomes are replicated, DNA synthesis takes place. Once a cell enters the S phase, it usually completes the rest of the cell cycle. The G2 or second phase. In this stage, organelles and molecules required for cell division produced. Once G2 is complete, the cell is ready to start the M phase or mitosis. Cell division under mitosis stage can be subdivided into four sub phases, and that is PMAT. These are prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, or we can say it as PMAT. To further understand these stages, look again on our chart in cell cycle and locate where this PMAT happens. As you can see, it happens after interface. So let us discuss the first stages under prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase before we compare mitosis and meiosis. Are you ready? Let's start. In prophase, chromosomes becomes visible. Sister chromatids. Centrioles migrate to the poles. Only in animals. Nuclear membrane disappears and spindle forms. Moreover, under metaphase, Chromosomes line up on the equator of the cell and spindles attach to centromeres. When it comes to anaphase, sister chromatids separate. As centromeres divide and sister chromatids move to opposite poles, as you can see on the picture. After anaphase, next stage is telophase. In this stage, chromosomes uncoil, now chromatin. The nuclear membranes perform and spindle disappears. And lastly, cytokinesis. It occurs at the end of mitosis. Here, the division of the cytoplasm form two new daughter cells and organelles are divided. Also, Daughter cells are genetically identical in this final stage. Then, cells return to interface. For you to know what happens during mitosis stage, I prepared here short animation. 
So, take a look on the mitosis animation. Now, what do you think is the next stage after interface? You got it right. It should be mitosis. Mitosis is a type of cell division produces two identical cells with the same number of chromosomes. While meiosis is a special type of cell division where the cell undergoes two rounds of cell division to produce four daughter cells. In this illustration, on shown on the screen, you can notice that both mitosis and meiosis has the same process but differ in products. In order for you to understand more about mitosis and meiosis, take a look on the process and number of daughter cells. In mitosis, as you notice on the screen, okay, there are only two daughter cells. While meiosis has four daughter cells. So, why does this happen that meiosis produces four daughter cells while mitosis produces only two daughter cells? As you can see in mitosis stage, it only has one round of cell division. While in meiosis stage, it has two rounds of cell division which produce four daughter cells. For easy understanding, let us put the comparison between mitosis and meiosis on a table. First, mitosis occurs continuously in the body or somatic cells while meiosis occurs in the germ during the process of gametogenesis. Second, in mitosis, the whole process complete in one sequence or phase after one round of DNA replication, while in mitosis, the whole process completes in two successive divisions, which occur one after the other. Another, in mitosis, the prophase is of short duration and does not include any such stage, while in meiosis, the prophase is of longer duration and it complete in six successive stages. Fourth, in meiosis, the homologous chromosomes duplicate into two chromatids. The chromatids separate and form new chromosomes. While in meiosis stage, out of the two homologous chromosomes, only one type of chromosome, either maternal or paternal, moves to the daughter cells. Fifth, in mitosis, no pairing or synapsis takes place between the homologous chromosomes. While in meiosis, pairing or synapsis occurs between the homologous chromosomes. Next, duplication of chromosomes takes place in the early prophase during mitosis stage, while in meiosis, duplication or splitting of chromosomes takes place in the late prophase. In mitosis stage, no chiasma formation or crossing over takes place, while in meiosis, chiasma formation or crossing over takes place. Another in mitosis, the exchange of genetic material between the homologous chromosomes does not occur while in meiosis, the exchange of the genetic material takes place between the chromatids of homologous chromosomes. The chromosome number in mitosis stage remains the same in the newly formed daughter cells, while in meiosis, chromosome number 
is reduced into half in the newly formed daughter cells. And lastly, in mitosis, two daughter cells are formed, while four daughter cells in meiosis. All this information are the difference between mitosis and meiosis. Okay, after knowing all the information regarding cell, cell cycle, mitosis, and meiosis, let us go now to the question and answer portion. Why does interface happen? What do you think is the reason, class? The answer is, interface happen because cell must grow in order for extra organelles and DNA have room in cell. So that's all for today. Class, did you learn something? Alright, see you on next live streaming. Goodbye, thank you, and God has blessed you all.